Before I start, I want to tell you about my streams. My streams start at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There you can watch me do some art and talk about my experiences, and we can talk together in the chat. My first stream went great, and I love chatting with you guys. I hope to see you there in the future. Let's go. To start with, I want to share some representations of hallucinations I draw or create after the hallucinations occur. These ones are going to be more organized and more based on memories than the experiences as they actually happen. So this is more of a kind of mandala effect that can be shown, um, or a mandala effect that can be seen when I'm trying to sleep, for example. I can sometimes um, see these things when I'm closing my eyes too, where they'll be usually circular shapes with fractals um, kind of flashing or spinning, or sometimes even snake-like figures. This one is trying to represent the fractal nature of everything. Um, I hope to animate this image sometime in the future, but basically every single circle would be spinning at the same time. Um, and because the circles are um, inside each other, they would, they would be kind of rolling around inside of each other. Um, but I think that this kind of captures the geometry that I can see and sometimes even like the motion behind it, uh, even though this one particularly does not have motion. Um, this is also a representation of hallucinations, but this one is not a literal one. Um, this is more to capture the feeling that I had when I was in the hospital and I was kind of haunted by these hallucinations um, and delusions. Uh, I would be the one in the corner and everything, everything would be overwhelming me like this uh, monster is overwhelming the person in the photo. Uh, the rest of the image is darkened and desaturated to further emphasize the impact that the hallucinations have on me. This one is more to capture the feelings of being overwhelmed and the intricacies of the hallucinations themselves. For this one, I am meant to be this yellow guy right here. And everything else is supposed to be kind of moving around me. Um, this one, I am trying to depict the feeling of falling or being thrown or spun. Um, sometimes I experience hallucinations when those happen. This one is just a simple rec uh, recreation of a creature that I might see when I am hallucinating. Most of my hallucinations nowadays are at nighttime, and I would see something like this, but more in a, in a uh, holographic kind of way, where it's not literally there. So this is more of a literal representation of the holographic vision that I would see. This is another geometric representation of things that I would see. Um, most of what I see is more of a combination of a creature and something geometric. This one I created uh, with procedural generation with the program that I wrote. This one is an incomplete digital painting that I created trying to represent some hallucinations that I would see where it's more disembodied eyes and teeth. Eyes and teeth are some of the most common things that I see in hallucinations whether that be from when I first started having hallucinations related to schizophrenia to now. This is a charcoal drawing of a creature that I saw. He was actually in a line of two other creatures that looked exactly like this. I wanted to try to depict it with as much detail as possible, given my skill with charcoal at least. This is a good representation of the overwhelming amount of eyes and teeth sometimes that I would see. The geometry is secondary here, and the owl is not is barely there, and it's more of just an amalgamation of facial features. 
This one is actually a representation of hallucinations that I had before I had any indications that I had schizophrenia. I did have hallucinations before then, but I never took them seriously at the time. I never suspected that that might be an indication that there was anything wrong with me. My hallucinations weren't as complex as this at the time, but this does represent the types of things that I would see before that happened. They changed in nature after this time. Here's another version of that, of that same mandala that I made. This one's more clear and less um, warm. Sometimes the mandalas I would see have distinct geometry and sometimes it wouldn't. This one demonstrates the incredible complexity that I could see sometimes. Sometimes I would see stuff like this, but it would just happen for an instant. Most of the hallucinations that I try to capture um, are actually amalgamations of multiple instances of hallucinations that I would have. This one is trying to capture one instance of a monster that I saw while ha having my eyes closed. Again, there is complex geometry, but eyes and teeth are the center of, of focus. This is a more simple representation of something that I would see. With the same tone, more colors, eyes, and teeth. This time with more simple geometry. Sometimes geometry is the central focus of my drawings. This one was hexagons and circles um, for the most part but still tons of teeth and eyes. This one is also geometrically focused, but it's a little harder to see. I intersected several circles in order to try to create um, some sort of sacred geometry. I'm not sure which, but where the circles intersected, I drew eyes and where the circles were intersecting, I drew many mouths and other patterns. I tried to create multiple faces from different perspectives. For example, here you can see two eyes that meet together with this mouth to create somewhat of an angry face. And these two eyes can also be used for this mouth here, this line, to create somewhat of a crying happy face. This one is probably one of the best representations of the older hallucinations that I would get before I was medicated. It would be very intense blobs of teeth and eyes just all over the place. This one is more regular um, in pattern than um, my other hallucinations where they might be twisted and mashed together but this is a good representation of the amount of teeth and the tone of these hallucinations. This one is another kind of um, compilation of many hallucinations that I've had put together into one image. Or I wanted to create an image that compiled a bunch of hallucinations that I've had and put them together in a way that looked very interesting. Next, we'll look at images that were drawn while actively hallucinating. These ones are a lot more chaotic and more capture the chaos and the confusion and the manic state that I was in. While I draw these things, I do not actively try to draw individual hallucinations because they happen at, uh, because they happen very quickly. I'm usually drawing hallucinations that I have as I have them. So I would not see all of this at the same time. I would see these individual things and draw these things as they occur and go to the next thing as fast as I can. This one is a good example of going from one thing to another very quickly. These hallucinations are complex and, um, so rapid that I don't create anything coherent here, but I'm just drawing everything that I'm seeing as I'm seeing it as fast as I can. I think this created an uh, interesting scene here that I drew on one index card. 
This is probably one of the more coherent things that I drew while I was hallucinating. Actual um, being. Usually I see beings as uh, individual things, but this is a being kind of composed of multiple ones. This is another one of those chaotic scenes that is a compilation of several hallucinations I have while I am having them. Of the ones that I create while I'm hallucinating, this is one of the ones I'm more proud of. Um, just because of the use of color that I have here. Um, it's still very amateurish. I have learned a lot over the, the period of time that I've been studying art and um, practicing. But I think this one captures um, the experience very well um, because there are a lot of colors involved with hallucinations. They're not necessarily as vivid. They're very transparent and faded um, compared to what you see here. Um, but this is still fairly accurate. This is a good representation of maybe something you would see in one um, instance of hallucinations where it's several faces of many different colors kind of squashed together. Um, and some of these faces share features. For example, these two eyes go to this mouth and it goes to this nose and this mouth. This is another one of those creatures that I would see um, perhaps in one instance of time. Um, several eyes are not an uncommon thing to see um, while I'm hallucinating, especially back before I was medicated. This is one of the better representations of a creature I might see while hallucinating. This was before medication, or at least before the medication started working well these creatures were much more complex back then. Here's another one of those. Uh, here's another creature with about the same kind of context. Um, this time, a lot of facial features and a lot of kind of geometrical um, patterns would be flowing through them. This one has pretty bad use of color but it is still pretty accurate to what I was seeing. Um, I might try to redo things like this um, with my new experience and new intuition for art. Sometimes my hallucinations can get so complex that they are extremely hard to represent in images. And I think areas like this um, can represent that because sometimes the details are so sharp in vivid hallucinations that they kind of drown themselves into each other and they become kind of incomprehensible. This one is a slightly different one. I apologize for the blurriness, but for some reason downloading this image uh, made it a lot more blurry. But basically I used watercolor and created a big blob and I left a bunch of open space for me to draw into. And instead of drawing hallucinations directly, I drew what my mind saw in these empty spaces. So I would draw things that uh, the empty spaces looked like. This is more of a pareidolia thing than a hallucination thing, but pareidolia and hallucinations are somewhat related. Um, for those who don't know, pareidolia is when you see patterns in places where they don't exist, um, especially things like faces. So like say you can look at the front of a car or a house and you could see something that resembles a face when the face actually isn't there. Before we go on to the to more hallucinations that I had, I'll take a small detour and show some drawings that I did that represent dreams that I've had. This is an old painting that I made trying to represent a figure that I encountered while in a dream. It was basically a giant wall with a bunch of eyes all over it and giant teeth. Most of my dreams are more exploratory where I kind of float around or walk around in a bizarre space and sometimes I see weird creatures like this one. Sometimes my dreams are 
just fantastical world where things just make no sense. Um, just quickly going over this, this is a scene that I experienced in a dream and it was this drawing is me trying to put in everything that I remember from that dream. So these circles are just little people. Um, this is an incomplete drawing, but in the dream there was a race, um, kind of like a Mario Kart race. This is a doghouse car, a hamburger car, and a taco car. There was this bridge that was made out of a rock snake, and it kind of looked like the Pokemon Onyx. There was a red serpent uh, dragon that could fly. Um, there was this guy flying in a boat, and he crashed through a mountain. And one thing that I dream of a lot for some reason is like these kind of dome-like buildings that have pipes that go to other locations. Um, for some reason, I dream of these kinds of places a lot, um, or at least this kind of architecture a lot, and I do want to depict that in more drawings in the future. This is a creature that I encountered in one of my more intense dreams recently. I created this a few um, weeks ago. In the dream, she kind of guarded this hub that was a uh, area where there were portals to different multiverses. And when you exit the hub, you find yourself in this giant cube that was created out of concrete so you're inside this hollow concrete cube and she's basically the one to keep you out of that area um she was kind of like this giant being and she kept me in this uh cage made of lasers or something it was one of my more intense dreams as of late next i'll show you some hallucinations that I tried to jot down as fast as possible. Um, I did these on the computer while I was while I was hallucinating during the daytime. Most of these I drew in one session. This one is kind of like a pinata um, thing with an eye, and it has these like metal uh, tentacles, kind of like the Doc Oct uh, Doctor Octopus from Spider Man. Um, this one's a more geometrical, uh, this one is a more geometric, um, creature. This was like a, uh, spinning top head, um, where the features were repeated on, uh, all sides of the top, but it was spinning. This one kind of reminds me of those, uh, biblically accurate angels you can see on, uh, Google. Lots of, like, gyroscopic mini- spinning wheels um there was only one eye here um but if you put several eyes on the edge of these um that could look a lot like some of those drawings of those biblically biblically accurate angels here is just a hand with legs um yeah uh here's another owl but this time, um, more basic. The, uh, when I saw it, it had kind of a concave in with, um, so this would be like a bowl in words and same on this side. And, uh, the eyes, um, were basically concaved in. So there was actually some more interesting geometry I wasn't able to depict here. And then for its wings sticking out, it would have um, faces um, from their profile view on both sides instead of actual wings. This one's kind of like the top guy. Um, multiple faces instead of um, a repeating and shared features, it's individual faces this time, uh, as well as a spinning body torso. Uh, this one's just kind of like a walking watch with hands that uh, move like arms instead of like watch hands. 
uh, this is kind of like uh, some t sort of cultish creature, um, like uh, the priest of a cult or something. It has five eyes on some sort of cow skull head and uh, a big headdress and a big body. Uh, this was more of like a snake, um, but it had snakes for arms. I didn't complete the snakes for the arms, um, but it was kind of a rep reptilian creature. This is another hand kind of creature, but it also had fingers on its shoulders and uh, other hands as well. Um, this is just basically a serpent. Uh, the only unique part of it is its head and its tail. Uh, this is a carousel kind of creature where from all sides it looks about the same and it spins around uh, this being the center and where it would hypothetically eat if it was a real thing. Um, I don't know how to describe this one. <laughs> Uh, but it does remind me of like the uh, siren head monster from uh, Creepypasta. The rest of these drawings here were drawn at night, mostly at different times. Um, they're trying to represent hallucinations that I have at night. Night is the most common time for me to have hallucinations. And they do still go um, too fast to keep track of. So I try to doodle them as fast as I possibly can and maybe draw them later in more detail. This is more to, for me to try to remember them because I do think that they're um, artistically interesting. This is kind of a creature that had uh, three eyes and kind of a uh, almost Egyptian eye of Horus eye on its forehead and has like the back of its head kind of spirals out um, in somewhat of a fractal and just kind of goes into a void. This one's kind of like half uh, insect and half uh, kind of the uh, microscopic viruses that um, have those little legs at the bottom. This one seems to be kind of a typical um, robot uh, cartoon. This is one of the more complex things that I saw. It's a very angular, um, almost sinister kind of creature. Another third eye, for some reason, I do see those kinds of things a lot. But this one had a lot of uh, features, especially angular features, that I wasn't able to depict here. Uh, this is um, the net head creature that I actually drew on my first stream. Um, it's this is the head in the center of the image and uh, it had nets coming out of the top of its head and then some other uh, armor kind of uh, components as well this one is more amorphous it's hard to describe um, the center of it is meant to be an eye and then kind of like a sun radiating and then it's kind of coco cocooned in this uh, spiky spiral shape. This is um, some sort of like caterpillar kind of creature. Um, it Every single um, cell of this caterpillar creature is actually a stone with some sort of like runic symbol something like that on it. This one's sort of like the carousel creature, but more alien. This one was more covered with eyes and had tongues coming out. This is more of a two-faced creature with eyes on the sides of it, rather than something that would be spinning around like the carousel creature. Uh, this is one side of a uh, kind of diamond-shaped head where it was only three eyes and then three more eyes on the opposite side where it was very spiky. This is a more cartoonish um, thing that I saw, something more grounded where it's just simply a hat um, over the 
over the main part of uh, a, dog, a cartoon dog's head. This one's a bit more of the a bit more of a sinister creature. It has big spikes coming out of its head. This isn't hair. This is just like um, metal or stone spikes. And then it has this kind of crest over its eyes and the only exposed features are its mouth. This is probably the best representation of how shaky my hands can get. Um, even at night, my hands get so shaky that I can't draw regular curves. Um, but this is just another one of those sinister kind of creatures. Its eyes cover almost its entire uh, cranium. Um, but this is kind of a horned cat creature. Um, this is meant to be kind of a five pointed leaf in the center for where its cranium would be. These are kind of floating eyes off to the side. And then this would be the nose or this would be the lip, the lips of the creature. This one's almost a like a um, microscopic organism this is supposed to be a mouth with teeth but i don't know what this is supposed to be i believe it's just kind of microscopic goo um and then there's there were faces on the other side of it kind of controlling the um, mouth of this piece this is probably the most abstract um thing that i saw at night that i put down um, I did interpret these as eyes. For some reason, when you hallucinate things, you know certain things are certain ways, even if they don't appear as so. Um, so when I see these circles, uh, even though they're overlapping, I see them as eyes. And then I see this as a floating, um, I believe it was like a stone kind of shape, um, just kind of floating. Um, this is a, I believe, eight-pointed star, um, and then on all the faces of this three-dimensional star, um, there were eyes, or at least uh, carvings of, like, the images of eyes. This is another kind of stone, because a lot of the things that I see nowadays seem to be, like, st like stone um or at least like the textures of stone for some reason and then there's these like diamond shapes that were floating by the points of the star this is like a mushroom headed uh face with a crest that has that looks like a mushroom with mushroom looking eyes sometimes it's just coherent like that in theme this is a more abstract kind of blob thing with little lightning bolt looking legs i don't really know what to say about this but it does look kind of like a garbage bag uh this one is a more geometrically based one even if it doesn't appear to be so at first these are circles intersecting each other and when they intersect they have eyes and where they don't intersect there are mouths so before we stop with our video i did want to show off a couple more pieces just in case people wanted to look at them um, these were for the final of one of my art classes. Um, I am not a painter, so keep that in mind. But uh, basically, here I'm not really trying to depict anything um, in terms of hallucinations. I just wanted to create um, a series about abstracting the human body. So I used colors that aren't human. And I used shapes that aren't really like the human shapes but i create i put them all together to create um close-ups of uh the human body or strange angles to create uh more abstraction so this is a face in case you you couldn't tell uh here's a full human body um again trying to abstract uh abstract it a little bit um, and use minimal lines. These are two hands put together kind of as if you're cracking your knuckles. This one's 
one of the more close up and more abstract ones. This one, I wanted to try to create it as if it was a landscape or like a painting of a mountain. So this is a face and an arm and a shoulder, but I used color scheme and angle to make it look like it was something that it wasn't. And then this is just another full body from the top. Uh, again, trying to use thicker lines and different shapes to abstract it more. This is just me trying to um, get out of my comfort zone, not just draw hallucinations, stuff like that, and like really improve my art skills, and hopefully eventually even be able to represent my hallucinations, stuff like that more. Anyways, I do appreciate you watching. I'll stream every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to come by and chat, if you want to come by and watch me uh, try to create some new art, thank you very much for watching.